today we're going to cover everything you need to know about indices using the Sherpa Online Classroom. So, what is an indice? This is where we take a number, say 2, and we give it a power, in this case 3. What this means is we take 2 times itself 3 times. So 2 times 2 times 2. And that's going to equal 8. So 2 is our number and 3 is our power. So we'd call this 2 to the power of 3 or 2 cubed in this case. So what are the rules of indices and how can we apply this to a past paper question? So rule number one. We take x, our variable, and put it to the power of a, and we times it to x to the power of b. The answer is going to be x to the power of a plus b. So for example, 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 3 is going to equal 2 to the power of 5. Now for our second rule. It's going to be the opposite of rule number 1. So if we take x to the a and we divide it by x to the b, we're going to get x to the a minus b. So 2 to 3 divided by 2 to the 2 is going to equal 2 to the 1. Now 2 to the 1 just equals 2. Now the third rule is going to be a little bit different. This is x to the 0. Now x to the 0 is going to equal 1. This is a very important point to remember because it comes back later on when you look at exponential functions. Point number 4. x to the negative a equals 1 divided by x to the power of a. So x to the negative 2 is 1 over x squared. Rule number 5. x to the a to the power of b is equal to x to the power of a times b. It's important not to get rule number 5 confused with rule number 1. And our final rule, rule number 6, is x to the power of a over b. Now here we're going to have to use a root. We use b as our root, so to the b root of x to the power of a. This might seem a little bit confusing, but don't worry. If we take x to the half, this then becomes the square root of x to the 1, which we know is x. So x to the half is equal to the square root of x. So let's apply this to a past paper question. We're going to be looking at the Edexcel 2018 non-calculator paper and question one within that paper. This question asks you to find three to the seven times three to the negative two all over three to the power of three. Now I'm just going to rewrite it with brackets around here so that we can break this question into two. So let's solve these brackets here. Three to the seven times three to the negative two is the same as that first rule. So we take x to the a times x to the b equals x, in this case three, to the power of seven plus negative two, which is going to equal five. So, we now have three to the five divided by three to the three. So if we remember that second rule, we take three to the five divided by three to the power of three, which is going to equal to three to the power of five minus three, which is three to the power of two or three squared, which we know is equal to nine. And there we have our answer. That's all we have time for with today's video. But as always, if you want to learn more, visit sherpa-online.com, the only place you should be going to find your own personal tutor to help you get ahead of your studies.
you can pick from a whole range of tutors and see what others have to say about them. And then, when you've found the right tutor for you, you can use the Sherpa Online Classroom, which we use today, to have online lessons with your tutors, where you can speak face-to-face -face, no matter where you are in the world. That's sherpa-online.com. Visit it today.